You all know how a glow stick works? You break it. Yep, exactly, break it. And so uh, that inner capsule is filled with a compound called uh, phenyloxylate ester. And so when you break that capsule and that compound's released, it interacts with the hydrogen peroxide and the dye molecules that are in here, their energy level gets really, really high, and as it relaxes, they give off light. We're supersizing this reaction by using the chemicals of a glow stick in bulk and combining them on this canvas. Let's go. Our canvas is plastic lined, and I add the drain cleaner first. Alkaline drain cleaners contain sodium hydroxide, also known as lye. This will make the reaction even brighter and faster. But sodium hydroxide can be extremely caustic. That's why we're all wearing masks and protective gear. So the next step is pouring out all of these dyes on the, on the table. This is the same dye and phenyl oxalate ester solution found inside of a glow stick's inner glass capsule. And now we add the final glow stick ingredient, hydrogen peroxide. Are we ready? Yeah. All right, three, two, one, pour nice and slow. Isn't that awesome? Look at those colors. So amazing. So why does this reaction look so bright? Glow sticks make light through a process called chemiluminescence. Basically, you kick off a chemical reaction when you bend the glow stick. Darren grabs some slow motion shots of the glow stick breaking. The footage reveals something kind of fascinating. You can actually see that there is a glass vial inside of the glow stick. When this bends and finally breaks, that's when the chemical reaction starts. We have the same reaction here, but with the sodium hydroxide, we kind of speeded that up. It acted as a catalyst to kind of make that reaction really, really visible and really, really bright. And when your uh, hydrogen peroxide is empty, you can grab a brush and start swirling it around and mixing those colors together. It's, it's like, like lava. Lava. Yeah. lava. Oh, I love that. Lava. This is so amazing. The drain cleaner speeds up the reaction and makes it glow brighter. The illumination doesn't last very long, but it's very, very pretty. Yeah, that's bright. Stuff. So what did you all see? It was like extraterrestrials just everywhere. Dude, that was so much more bright and vibrant than I was expecting it to be, like yeah. self-illuminating. When that hydrogen peroxide hits the rest of the compounds and that reaction happens so vividly and so quickly, oh man, it gets me every time, it's beautiful.